Want to manage the soft and hard subtitles of your videos? Well, Handbrake is the free and open source video transcoder to do it. Known as a software for ripping DVDs, it also enables you to add soft subtitles and to burn subtitles into your videos. Here, I'm going to show you step by step how to do soft and hard subtitles into Handbrake and how to remove them. Plus, I'm going to give you an easy way to generate subtitle files that you'll be able to add on Handbrake. Does that sound good for you? Let's get started. All right, let's begin with adding subtitles on Handbrake. So on Handbrake, you can either add soft subtitles that viewers can turn on and off or burn in subtitles that will be permanently embedded into the video. Here, I'm going to show you how to do both on Handbrake. So step one, import your subtitle file. First, open Handbrake and drag your video file into the software. Handbrake supports files such as MV4 or M4V, MKV, MOV. If you have ripped a DVD or Blu-ray file with Handbrake, you generally have a MKV file that you'll be able to add. Once the video is loaded, the interface will display the preview and available settings. Next, navigate to the Subtitles tab in the lower menu. This section is where you can add, remove, and customize the subtitles on your video. Step 2. Burn your subtitle tracks. Now, let's talk first about how to burn subtitles into your video. To do that, you have to import your own subtitle files. Handbrakes can handle the common SRT format found everywhere, or format that contains stylistic customizations like ASS. To import your file, click on Track, then Import Subtitles, and then just select the subtitles. Here, for the sake of the example, I'll select a ASS subtitle with some style customization. Now that you see the subtitle here, to burn it permanently into your video, you just have to check the Burn In box. You can also adjust the offset of your subtitles, but just know that it will apply to the whole subtitle track not on a specific timestamps, so it's not very precise. To finish the process, then just choose the saving location by clicking on Browse and start the encoding. As you can see now, my subtitles are embedded in your video with a specific style imported from the ASS file. Otherwise, if you just take a SRT file, it will be in the default style. Step 3. Manage the soft subtitles. So, as I've said before, there's another way to add subtitles on Handbrake, and it's to add soft subtitles. These soft subtitles will be displayed on supported video players like VLC or Media Player, and users will be able to choose to display them or not. It's also a good option if you want multiple subtitle tracks from different languages, so viewers can switch from one language to another. So, to get these soft subtitles, you have to import again new video and import the subtitle files following the same process as previously. Now, as long as you don't check the burning option, your subtitles will be processed as short subtitles into the file and be recognized by video players. If you have multiple subtitle tracks, that's where you can manage further the encoding. Indeed, you can choose a language that will be displayed as default and so will be displayed every time when the video is played. There's also the foreign audio scan feature that allows you to control the display of the subtitles of both original and foreign subtitles in the same video file, but it's not a very convenient system and it only works for DVD. So you shouldn't bother about it if you just want to add subtitles in a normal video file. So once these settings are configured, it's time to finalize your video. Click Start Encode and Handbrake will begin processing your video with the added subtitles. And that's it you've added the soft subtitles to your video in Handbrake. As you can see, they are now displayed when playing my video on VLC, for example. Now that you know how to add subtitles on Handbrake, let's talk about how to remove them. To be honest with you, Handbrake only allows you to remove soft subtitles. You cannot remove hard subtitles because they're burned into the video. The code is burned into it. But if you want to remove the soft subtitles, Here's how to do it step by step. So to begin with, start by opening Handbrake and clicking on the open source button to load your video file. Once the file is loaded, head to the subtitle tab. Here, click on tracks, then add all remaining tracks. 
So as you can see, now you'll be able to see all the existing subtitle tracks associated with the video. These are only soft subtitles that were previously added. Sadly, as I said, not burned in video. To remove these subtitle tracks, just click on the clear button. This action will remove the subtitles from the encoding process. Now click start encode and Handbrake will process your video without subtitles. Once the encoding is finished, just have to open the exported video in your preferred media player and see that the subtitles have been successfully removed. And that's it. Now, if you're looking to really scale your subtitle workflow, you can use an AI subtitle generator. One is called Checksub. Unlike the caption features into traditional video editor, Checksub offers advanced customization, better accuracy, multi-language support, and a smart and real-time subtitle editor. Here's how to implement it into your workflow. Step one, access the Checksub subtitle interface. To do that, it's simple. Start by logging into your Checksub account at mycheksub.com. If you don't have one yet, it's okay. Creating an account is quick and straightforward. Once logged in, upload your video to the platform. Then when it's uploaded, just choose the original language of your subtitles or potentially another language that you want to translate it to and start the process. If you already have a subtitle file, you can also go to the option menu and activate the option to upload it. Then you can add any subtitle or transcription file that you have and get started from there. And it will only take a few minutes. Step two, review the subtitles. Now here's the best part. You now have access to Checksub's real-time subtitle editor. Here we can review and edit the transcription directly in the editor and the subtitles will be synced in automatically based on your modifications. Just like here. With this editor, you can then adjust any small errors that the AI transcription can still make from time to time. Once your subtitles are polished, you can also customize their appearance in details. For that, go to the style panel, apply any template that you want if you want to apply a template and not do manual edits, or adjust the font size, color, background, and placement manual. You can also add animation based on our various animation template. Like this one. This one looks good. Step 3. Export your subtitles. To do that, it's also easy. Go to the export panel and then here you can either click on the button video if you want to download your video with burning subtitles or on the button subtitle if you want to get your subtitles into the SRT VTT file, you'll then immediately get your video with the right subtitle style or the right subtitle format. Okay, so now you know how to add and remove subtitles on Handbrake, whether they are hard or soft subtitles, and also how to generate a subtitle file that you'll be able to add on Handbrake. So depending on your project need, just follow closely the instruction I gave you here, step by step. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, or to leave a comment if you have any question. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video.